that work? What the hell? Okay. Did the fucking audio just not work for that few little bit? Okay, anyway. I was just saying, there's maintenance in like an hour and a half. I probably should have. Probably should have streamed earlier. Anyway. Forget that intro. God, it's been five minutes. Huh? Anyway. God, I was talking over this whole time. <laughs> anyway. Perfect. I'm glad something immediately went wrong. Um, I was just saying that it was like a... I was just saying, this is probably like copyrighted audio, so I should probably try to talk over it. Um, I guess it would be a perfect time to bring up then, since I was apparently muted that whole time. Um, oh, is the, uh, is the Warrior of Light, uh, starting his gunbreaker here? Or maybe Reaper, huh? <clears throat> I like, I like the piano. Piano is probably one of my favorite instruments that I don't know how to play. I've never seen this before, by the way. Um, <gasps> Ooh, new outfit finally. I'm glad they embrace giving her some red. <gasps> uh huh. There, there you are. There's Ardbert. <laughs> Sage, huh? Oh, really? Okay. He switches classes, huh? Okay. Holy shit. That's um, Tiamat, right? With Estinian. There he is. They gave him a different haircut. <laughs> Guess they were tired of his hair clipping into his armor. And this fucking piece of shit. I like that he just got introduced just to give Fan Daniel the same crazy archetype. Because there's no reason why the Asian has to take on Asahi's like um, emotions, I guess. Anyway, you took your time. Tis as we feared. Oh, what is that, Charlian? Oh, okay. There's old Charlian. I was like, I've been to old Charlian, I think. That's not what that looks like. Unless, unless it's a, an entire other area behind there. Wow. There he is! There's the boy! It's cool that they brought him back. I, I, I'm glad that they brought him back. There's uh... Oh wow.
Oh, sweet. <laughs> The moon. Do we get to go to the moon? <laughs> Can we go to the moon? That'd be so sick. Okay. So I have to. Um. And I've been I've been I've been like, not staring. What the equivalent is of like listening, but like staring, at that audio this whole time and it sounds so much better when it's in the whole song because they always do that they always do that for the for the main menu theme it's like they get parts of the they get parts parts of the actual opening credits uh song and puts it in the main menu anyway as i was saying well oh god am i like i'm peeking so so hard i'm so sorry is that any better okay let's try that it's not this thing is it I, I wanted to make sure it's not picking up this audio. Anyway, um, as I was saying while I was muted, um, the main is still, my main is still a ninja, but I unfortunately leveled him up to cap before I even started the, the, uh, the expansion. So, um, can't, it, it'd be a complete waste for me to, to play using him and also uh also um i'm trying to get used to tank more partly because i think it's better especially on camera that way i'm not waiting like half an hour getting into a queue as a dps it's just them's the breaks everyone just plays as a dps class unfortunately but um but anyhow um we've made it here to more i'm playing as gunbreaker it took me a while to come up with an aesthetic for the Gunbreaker. Oh, just, just because I'm so proud of it. Here's the ninja outfit. Um, I know that it's probably a little bit boring, but it's the Crypt Lurker set that you get from, that you get from Shadowbringers. Um, it, there's no hints of ninja there. I actually had a lot of trouble with it. Um, I actually had a lot of trouble coming up with an uh, with a aesthetic for it because I really love. I really loved the the Shadowbringers outfit that I came up with, which was this one. Um, I really liked the way that this one looked, and just because I adhered myself to coming up with a different outfit for all the different expansions, starting with Heaven's Word, and there's this is the outfit for Stormblood. Um, Shadowbringers is really the standout, I think. Yeah. Now that I think about it, Shadowbringers is the standout. Um, but this is canonically my outfit throughout the whole thing. I know that doesn't mean anything to anybody, but it's just something that I something I like. But I was like, Gunbreaker, what do I do? Cowboy, obviously, because I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja slash pirate. What's the other one? Cowboy. Anyway, enough enough dawdling. Um, let's get to it. Sora, do you have time to talk? And again, I didn't know there was scheduled maintenance at 7, which is like an hour and a half, so we're just gonna gun it. Um, but I am, I, I, I will be streaming again tomorrow at around the same time, maybe a little bit later. I would like to gather everyone in Dawn's respite, respite, and together, at, and together assess the situation in which we find ourselves. Can't wait for the voice actors to change all over again. I don't, I mean, they sounded pretty similar in that intro credit. Let us take stock of the facts, shall we? The crisis at hand began with the sudden appearance of ominous towers in a multitude of locations throughout the world. We've since learned that said structures were brought into being by an organization known as the Telephoroi. The Telephoroi's stated purpose is to recreate the final days of Eon's past, an apocalyptic event that would result in the destruction of all we hold dear. Already have these towers of theirs been the cause of untold suffering. Countless innocents kidnapped and imprisoned, their, fate pervert, their faith perverted for primal summonings. This is brand new background music. 
and unless we find a way to deal with the corruptive aura surrounding the spires, we can't even get close enough to rescue anyone. Those shielded with the blessing of light seem able to resist being tempered, at least. But after what happened to Arnvald and Fordola, we need to be very, very careful about how we proceed. I actually don't remember... Like, I knew who Arnvald is, but I don't remember where I met him. And I don't remember how Fordola became... Um, I think, like, how, how she came to having the, the blessing. Or if she was just introduced that way and we were just kind of like living with it. I think that might be the case. Yet while these threats close to home are of paramount concern, we mustn't lose sight of the situation in Garlemald. As you know, the Telephroi are under the leadership of Van Daniel and one other delightful fellow, Xenos Ye Galvus, the crown prince and our dear friend, back from the fucking dead. That made me so angry. Um, but also, wow, holy shit. To date, he's reclaimed his old body, murdered Emperor Varus, and plunged Garlemald into an even deeper pit of chaos. The capital has probably seen the worst of it. For a good while there, it saw the bloodiest fighting in the War of Succession, but that has since changed and in troubling ways. Aye, during our reconnaissance, the air was not once rent by the barking of cannons of the cries of discord. T'was an eerie fog of silence which did blanket that ruined city. The inhabitants appeared to have been tempered with an area word spoken that they labored to transform the palace into a soaring edifice born of nightmares. Is that what that tower at the end of Shadowbringers was? It looked like fucking Nightmare day Daybreak Town. If they were indeed made of thralls, if they were indeed made thralls, it seems safe to assume that these events too were orchestrated by the Telephoroi. An army of primals is awful enough, but in light of recent developments, I fear it is only the prelude to an even greater catastrophe. We need to devise a means to counter this threat, and quickly, before our allies are overwhelmed. We will find a way in Charlian, I am sure, but yes, they straight up tell you where to go at the last expansion. We're going, we're going to Charlian. I did get spoiled on one thing, of the dumbest places, actually. Um, if you talk to the weather vane people, they tell you the current weather in all the different places. They told me what the weather was like in Garlemald. <laughs> so, mm. anyway. Uh, massive fortunals comments regarding the final days were curious to say the least. The forum knows more than it is letting on. Sorry to interrupt. Cryled, he back. Uh, you've just received word from Mrs. Cryo. She says the arrangements for your visit has been finalized. All this music is brand new. We're gonna head to Limsa Laminsa and board the next ship bound for Charlian. And on arrival, present yourself as associates to the student of Baldesion. Come to assist with the Order's restoration. Baldesion? The arrangements may be settled, but what are your thoughts? They must risk the prospect of returning home after so long. Just immediately bombarded by new background music. It's so cool. I'm eager to see it, of course. Of course. We should set off at once. After, like, listening to the same background music for, like... I'll show you how much playtime there is. It's crazy. Then I'll accompany you to the docks. You need at least one person there to wave and cry and wish you a safe journey. Oh, new. New quest accepted. Okay. I feel like I did hear that before, but then I accepted the sage job, but it had been so long that I forgot about it. Um, anyway, before I before I continue forward, there's a couple of things that I want to check out, since I'm going on Limsa Limsa anyway. Um, anyway, just my final thoughts on Shadowbringers. Uh, lots of cool shit happens in the in the post patch. I know I only stream. I know I know I only stream like the main thing, and I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing the same. Thing this time where I'm just gonna be playing the main story. I'm gonna leave the post patch 
for myself because I enjoy playing this game and I think it's a good balance that way I'm not constantly I, I feel like that was always a problem with like um I feel like that was always a problem with whenever I stream a game is I always feel like I, I want to play a game but if I can't play it whenever I want then I kind of not that I lose interest in it but it, it makes it really hard to get into but um but anyhow um, oh! I just noticed. <laughs> I just noticed that I don't have the novice network here anymore. I was telling them last time, um, I, w I was saying last time, like, oh, when do I lose, when do I lose the novice network? You have to have like 300 hours plus be Shadowbringers, I think. Um, but here, I'll show you my playtime. Thirty-two days, fifteen hours, fifty-nine minutes. So let's say sixteen hours. Um. That clocks out to a, a total of like, um, what, uh, 768 plus 16, 783 hours of game time. Um, and I've only had to resubscribe once. Um, to be fair, I did do the six month subscription, which cost me around like 70 bucks. So I think, I think getting like almost 800 hours of gameplay for just, oh, did I not? I thought I sent them on a mission. That's why I went to go check it out here. Oh, I, I was training them, my bad. Um, uh, yeah, why not? Let's send them out onto something real quick. I promise. Oh, no, 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 no. I promise I'm not gonna... Yeah, let's do that. Do that. Get out of here. I just, I just need you guys to level up all the other guys. Um, but I've been doing that also in the middle of... in the middle of between post-patch. Um, I've, I've gotten up through a lot of shit in between... in between Sh uh, Stormblood and Shadowbringers. Or, so sorry, Shadowbringers and now. Um, one, again, is that I leveled up my ninja all the way to 90, so you're probably not going to see a lot of him during this playthrough. Um, I did almost get my gunbreaker up to, uh, level cap, so I'm probably going to have to be switching him out very soon. Um, I'm thinking maybe it'd be, it'd be really cool to go back to my marauder class. Um... It goes up to be Paladin, right? Or, 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 I don't know. Anyhow. Um. Oh god, look, I don't have a- I'm not a Sprout anymore. I am no longer a Sprout. Uh, but yes, just, just, I, I, just because I've heard- Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Just because I've heard from a few people, it's like, oh, you know, I don't know if an MMO is worth it, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think it's more than worth it. The free trial that they give you, which I think is still active, you know, the meme. Unlimited free trial, gets you up to level 16, includes the award winning Heaven's Word expansion. Um, I think that is more than enough for you to decide whether or not you want to keep playing this game. But in case you're, in case you're ever curious, as someone who just started playing this game, like, just now, <coughs> like around, oops, I want to say like seven months ago, um, I think it is more than worth it. Everyone's here, which is good, because I've already paid for your passage, and the fee is not refundable. The ship for Charlian should be pulling into port soon, so please follow me and have all your luggage close in hand. <sighs> it feels crazy to finally make it. Um, I know I was a little bit late to the party. I didn't, I didn't have the same kind of emotions as like when everybody else here was playing Endwalker, but I'll say that over the course of like seven months, I found the community very welcoming. I found everybody to be particularly nice. Everybody's been um, very pleasant to be around, even complete strangers. Like I met someone just because I was playing 
um, instruments in, in the plaza, and they came up to me, and we had like a long, long discussion. It was great. You know, there's little moments like that. Oh, I love Ali say so much. Will this be your first visit to Charlie and Sir Estinian? Sir Estinian? <sighs> Are we strangers newly met? Why this stiff formality? I, uh... Merely meant it as a professional courtesy, since we are now colleagues in an official sense. I'd rather you dispense with the sirs, especially in private company. Or I'll be forced to respond in kind, little Balfano. You've made your point, Destinian. Painfully well. <laughs> I love it, Sidian, also. Come with us, Hataro. <laughs> Are you alright, Hataro? You seem positively distraught. Distraught? Me? Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their homeland. Where are you from? Just, we're trying to thwart the schemes of an army hell-bent on destroying the world. And, once again... I have to stay behind and worry that this is the last time I'll get to see my friends. I'll hold you to that. They all die. Oh, good. You're still here. Cory Boulder, who everyone says is super cool, but I just I I, I feel I feel like I missed out on all the horror bullet co uh, content. We're to assist the maelstrom and the cobbles with a lunar primal operation, so we thought we'd see you off before heading to the tower. Flamine and the others wish you all a safe journey and promise that they'll look after things here until you return. We will too, of course. Bye. We your fellow signs of the seventh door will do our part to ensure the end of the world won't happen on our watch. Sorry if I sit weird for a second, like I just oh, ate. I'm like All uncomfortable sitting down. You ever eat like ever like eat so much and you're just like, oh I can't. So I'm just gonna be laying down on the ground. Here, let's do that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'll be honest, I would have streamed much earlier. Have a safe journey, and please, please, be careful. My, uh, my freaking phone stopped working. It wouldn't turn on. Um, I need a new phone. Because it just, it just stopped working. And it decided to boot up after, like, an hour. I think it just ran out of battery and just couldn't figure out what to do. But that was, uh... Oof. And so you then 
future fall unto the unknown. Is that Xenos? Fate beyond the horizon that cannot be divined. A future undefined and in flux. In uncertain times, naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. Which lives is destined to die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Wait, that's Emmett Selk, is it not? Treasure every moment, every step of your descent. But that's not Xenos. That's definitely not Fan Daniel. Ooh. Sick transition, bro. And there, in the depths where souls and stars rest, find your truth. Okay, I guess I had never been to Old Charlian before. What's the place that we went to then? Giovanna. Is that new Charlian? Oh, they really sat me down on the ground, huh? The day has barely dawned, my fellow early riser. We're all just sitting on the ground. <laughs> Oh, there she is. The uh... Yes. Do you 
your sojourn in the first, I believe you have your answer. You have gained an understanding of what I truly am. What Eidolon has always been. A primal. Zodiac was created to forestall the apocalypse which threatened the ancient world. And I was brought forth to bind him. Yet seven times now, those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era have rejoined a shard to the god I had sundered. The greater his strength grows, the swifter does mine own diminish. The power to draw your mind into the rift betwixt is no longer mine to wield. Ha! Huh. Yet though it taxes me sorely, I dare not leave these words unsaid. Even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms, monumental, which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. your peepers to the fore, folks. Charlians, just over yonder. I will not keep you further. Your traveler's heart must yearn to behold this unfamiliar land. We shall meet again, and soon. Hmm. Okay. have arisen. <sighs> there she is. Good old Charlie. Oh, I see it. Pretty. Concentration of wisdom in all the world. I am confident that somewhere within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek.
something about this cutscene makes it really feel like the culmination of a story. It's like the final season, you know? And this music is so, so good. There's the moon! You know... You know, the last time... The last time they showed us the moon... It killed the MMO. <laughs> So what are you saying? It sucks that I'm not gonna get into a significant portion of it by force. Because I only have like an hour left to play. Hmm. Once, they deigned to accept foreign students into a distant colony maintained in the Dravanian hinterlands. How swiftly they abandoned it once the first Garlean boot set hostile foot on Alan Oh. Oh, okay. This is new Charlene. And so averse to the prosecution of war, these men of wisdom. Your would-be allies. The northern empty. Oh, look at the sky. I thought they'd never let us off the ship. What's next then? Entry applications? Hopefully they find no cause to deny us. Hasn't Charlie and Albert severed relations with foreign powers? Those of us without direct ties, myself included, may be refused outright. It is true that, as a nation, Charlian only forms trade agreements with a select few neutral countries. But from a practical standpoint, an island cannot afford to be overly strict with its borders. Especially not if that island's people are wholly devoted to the accumulation of knowledge. If one submits the proper paperwork, with satisfactory evidence of identity and intent, then foreigners may be granted entry. May. So let us be absolutely clear on these points before we proceed. The immigration officer will ask for your affiliation and your purpose of visit. Considering Charlian's views on intervention, I strongly suggest we avoid any mention of the Scions. Kral has laid the groundwork for us to act as associates of the students of Valdesian, and our ostensible reason for being here is to aid in their order's restoration. God, all the music is new. It might expedite I've never heard it before, at least. Would you mind leading the way? Of course. The immigration offices were this way. I don't remember if they gave him a voice during the Crystal Tower series, but the voice actor they got this time around is really Mary, nice. I have paperwork detailing your group and its scheduled arrival for today. And it seems some few of your companions are also Archons. If you'll step forward, we can process those applications first. Ishtola Rule. God, I forgot her. she had a last name. <laughs> What's everybody else's name? See how it glows. That list is etherically linked with the citizen registry kept in the main repository. 
What were they gonna do about um, Alice and Alfina? Damn, like expunge from the records. Now, meanwhile, such personal circumstances constitute no reason to deny you entry. I urge you to avoid exacerbating your present situation. Times are quite troubled enough already. We shall keep that in mind. These last two are not Charlie natives. You will find their credentials are removed. An application was made in advance. I wonder if the dialogue is different if I did have the Charlian tattoo. People who played um, oh, um, uh, 1.0 have those Charlian tattoos. Name and occupation? Can I say Gunbreaker? <laughs> I'll say Artisan. Botanist. <laughs> Gratia. If you'll allow me. Who could that be? Who was that? I like her outfit, I want that shirt. Croyle, it is good to see you. Likewise, long voyage notwithstanding, you will seem none the worse for wear. There is much to discuss, but this is hardly the place. Let's be on our way, shall we? Like Jesus, why did they not let me walk? Here we are. God, I know, I know, I can't possibly feel what everybody else felt when this when this came out after having played <laughs> after having played it for so long. 
considering that I've only played it for like the la not even a year ago. But, um, anyway. I'm glad I spotted your ship coming into port. The officers are born bureaucrats and sticklers for detail. In any case, let me relax and take a moment to get your land legs back. I had thought to launch directly into an explanation of what I've learned and how we might proceed. But this is Sora and Asinian's first time in Charlene, and for the rest of you at homecoming that was long overdue. You must have places you wish to visit and people you're dying to see. Therefore, I propose we postpone our agenda so that you all may have sufficient time to recover from your journey and get your bearings into the city. Once you've settled in, we can reconvene at the Baldessian Annex. How does that sound? Tis a fine suggestion. We may not be welcome at the Levier Estate as such, but I should like to nose around the neighborhood all the same. I am equally untethered, as it were. There's no particular place in my kin call home. Still, I would not pass up the opportunity to reacquaint myself with the city. Likewise, a quick tour of our old haunts might even yield some useful gossip. The annex was west of the Etherite Plaza, wasn't it? I shall join you there anon. Yes, we'll see you there. Sorry guys, no British accent this time around, I'm tired. I too have places I would be remiss in not visiting Fort with, by thy leave. Maybe Fort Rianche, just cause it's in- I don't think you can not read that. I don't think you can't read that with a non-British accent. What of you, Asidian? My services as a guide are yours for the asking. That won't be necessary. Until we convene, I prefer to wander as the winds take me. <laughs> but but I oh well Raha would you like to join us then you've been gone for quite a while and this would be the perfect way to refresh those dusty old memory <laughs> damn Raha T is the three thousand year old dragon. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! You know what, I like it. Maybe I'm just not used to it because it's brand new. After you, my friend, I am more than content to follow your lead. Oh! Keep him at your side and- oh! You can leave Grahatia behind, however, by entering a different area. You may also speak to him and select the option to part ways. If you wish to have Grahatia accompany you again, return and speak with him at the original location. Uh... Well, Grahatia is accompany you, next try to sleep in cryo. Our first stop, amusingly enough, will be the last stand. To cafe on the west side of the harbor. Yay! What? While you're accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way which offer additional topics of discussion. Enter the glowing area and speak with your quest companions to initiate this bonus conversation. Cool! Ah, uh, you know what? I like that. They do these, they do these, let's walk around the town. I wish you could have like a little party thing though. I understand why they didn't do that. But, um, they do these, uh, they do these little, uh... Oh, look at that. While all the unusual wares coming and going at all hours, I expect the assistance of an intrepid adventurer would be highly appreciated. I see no reason why you couldn't undertake any task which piqued your interest. You've been cleared by the immigration officials, after all. Uh, I look forward to the day your name is celebrated in Charlie in the same way it is in Eorzea. I love Gratia. This place is called the Peristyle. 
and it is the first stop for cargo unloaded the docks. You'll find the usual necessities for daily living and other imports vital to running an island nation, but also supplies of further Charlie's pursuit of knowledge, namely large quantities of books, specimens, and samples. Sorting these stacks certainly seem to keep the attendants busy. Okay. Um, before we go anywhere, though, I actually want to start attuning to these guys. Man. Why does this, why does the music in this game have to be so good? But yes, as I was saying, they've, they've done a lot of these, um, walking around areas. Holy shit, this place looks so beautiful. I bet it's even prettier if it's not fucking foggy and cloudy. It looks like it's gonna rain. Um, but anyway, um, they do these little walk around the new area thing every single time, and it's, it's, uh, it can be, it can be a bit tedious. Huh? Oh, the animation didn't play. Anyhow. Let's let's go to more conversation points. Yeah, but just having just having the party follow you and just pick and choose. I assume this is where we have to go. But there's optional stuff here. Here it is. There's the sun. Oh look at that. Oh look at that. It looks like the Forgotten City. <laughs> It's a meme. It's a meme. Who are you? I am the meme. An occasional lecturer at a studio. I specialize in natural geography, including the history of the world's topography and climate transitions. I like to come here for a bit of fresh air between classes, but for some reason I'm asked for directions rather often. So why not act as a guide? Well, see you later, we'll meme. Giant, the great statue of Thaliac. Can't even face it. As a student of Baldessian, I was usually quartered on the Isle of Val, but I would gaze upon the scholar's wise features every time I returned by ship to the city. This path leading out towards the sea is known as the Thaliac Stoa, so named for the statue of the scholar which stands at its end. As you know, the Charlian people prize the accumulation of wisdom above all else. Thus, when Thaliac was chosen as our patron deity, it was more a matter of pragmatism, pragmatism than belief, an alignment of principle, as it were. We may have honored him with a rather impressive sculpture, yes, but our faith is not so restrictive as that of, say, the Guardians. Individual Charlians can and do worship the divinities of their choosing. Okay. Can you actually go up to the statue? Sorry, not to make this... I don't think you can. Not to make this take up any longer than it needs to... Oh, yeah, there's a door into it. Um, that's, uh... One of the, one of the, um... Seven Wonders of the Old World, I think, was this giant statue, I think, in Greece? Or Rome, maybe? Of, like, the, of, like, um... Uh, they also referenced it in, they also referenced it in Game of Thrones. Here we are, the last stand. I may have mentioned this before, but although our research into nutrition and food preparation is quite extensive, the average Charlie intends to regard seasoning and flavoring with a certain indifference. Huh? Oh no. I should have brought... The food is bland, as encapsulated by our infamous Archon love. The prevailing sentiment towards cuisine is dietary value first and taste a distant second. There was one... There was one pupil at the studio, however, who could stomach the school's insipid meals no longer, so he quit his lessons and poured all his savings into building a proper eatery. And so the last stand came to be. It is, as the name implies, the sole dedicated outpost of fine dining in Charlian, the one and only bastion of the culinary arts in an isle of otherwise mediocre fare. 
I seem to recall their burger being hailed as one of the most impressive items on the menu. Not that I ever had the pleasure of eating one myself. Between, because you were a typical Charlie when it came to cheap and convenient Raha, but surely Tataru has since taught you how to appreciate a well-prepared dish, we should all stop in when time permits a sample and sample the cafe's delights. Shall we press on? The stairs to the side of the cafe there will take us up to the Ether Plaza. Oh. Well. Here we go, yeah, there you go. This is this is the time of day that I was hoping to see this place in. This midday, you know. Fair skies. Like, yeah, there you go. I bet this place looks lovely when it's raining, too. This place just looks nice. An unusual shape, is it? Yeah, it is, actually. I think I saw- I thought I saw it. Yeah, it's like shaped like a circle. It looks like, um, it looks like one of those retractable, um, leashes. Uh, sure, yeah, I read that. It's a perfectly functioning etherite. Remember to attune yourself before we move on. Now, being the diligent tour guide that I am, I should make mention of the Confluence, a research facility located on this very plaza. Its much vaunted discoveries are the reason Charlian stands at the forefront of teleportation technology. In deciphering the underlying principles of Allegan Aetherites, it allowed us to understand and reconstruct what was essentially a lost art. And off we go to our next destination. Our path leads northeast to the Ogor, Charlian's largest marketplace. It reminds me, this place reminds me of not only the Forgotten City, it also reminds me of Lane Dell. Um, all, all the different, um, like, they all have a very similar aesthetic, and it, it, it's good. It's a good aesthetic. Uh, speaking of etherites, those teleportation fees do add up after a while, which is why I tended to rely on the far cheaper ferry services. I was pleasantly surprised when Mrs. Totaru informed me that signs are reimbursed for transportation costs as part of our duties. But I find old habits are hard to break. That, and I'd rather not be bothered filling out the necessary paperwork. How come I don't get fucking... I don't get fucking reimbursed for my teleportation fees. It takes like a thousand kill to get to Kugane. That's why I never go there. <laughs> I still haven't done the Ivalice raids because I don't want to go to Kugane. <laughs> this is the entrance of the confluence. I have no doubt their expertise will prove useful at some point, so I suggest you remember the way here. Um, actually, let's do this while we're here. Alright, guess I'm not going to the first either. How much does it take to get to the first now? From here. Yep. How much does it get to the- yo, look at that, fucking- Ugh. Ugh. God, ugh. Oh my god. But you know what, these are still super <laughs> cheap, so... I'm just gonna do that if I wanna go back home. Where are we going? Well, let's do this since I'm right here anyway. It's a nice blend of like nature and man-made design. It's very, um, it's very old world uh, architecture, which I enjoy. It's like, it's like, it's like, uh, Roman and Greek adjacent. I can't quite place it. I always get the architectures mixed up. I think, I think I'm thinking of Greek. No, Roman. Yeah, I'm thinking of Roman. Um, I'm gonna stop guessing. Do you mind if I browse the shelves for a moment? There might be some hidden gems I get to read. Feel free to browse all you like, but we won't wait around for you. Uh, perhaps I'll return here later then. These little open air book stalls are so uniquely Charlie. I'd always thought them a common sight until I visited other nations. Ah. Uh, yeah? I like your hat! Holy shit, I like your hat. 
Oh, I miss having the novice network because I could just be like, hey. I like that hat. Give me a hat. Can I make that? Welcome to the Agora, where you can find wares made in Charlian, as well as a wide selection of imported goods. They also used to sell questionable prototypes on the various research institutes, but I think that practice has thankfully died out for the most part. Otherwise, I can think of no better place to stock up for your next big adventure. Um, am I overselling it? Haha. <laughs> Uh, on a more serious note, the next stop on our tour is in one which has particular relevance or ultimate purpose here. We must head back to the Etheri Plaza, follow the path north, and climb up the stairs up to that imposing building at the very top. Um, prototypes? I'm sure they just mean like little trinkets and whatnot, um, little quality of life fixtures and whatnot, but it kind of reminds me of how in, um, what is that place called? The Tempest? What is that place called? No, don't actually go there. Um, in the in the in Emmet Selk's uh, little little village. Or they would uh, village city where they would um where they would have uh, a, a place where you could basically craft anything by just thought. And then it would either be a disaster or it'd be really good. These little decorative features are typical of Charlene architecture. Aside from the research wing, our headquarters on the Isle of Val were rather simple and rustic by comparison. This is the nymph. Nymphaeum, an area dedicated to the blessings of water. For Charlians, water represents more than a life-sustaining li liquid. It is a reminder of the great flood which precipitated the birth of our nation, as well as a symbol of the knowledge which flows from Thaliac's divine ewer. This is the reason you see an abundance of fountains throughout the city, and a propensity for utilizing water as a decorative feature in our architecture. Nice, it's just fountains. <laughs> Okay. This grand structure before you is the Rostra. The name of the first original public platform erected here upon which a form of elected representatives would deliver orations and debate policy. Although the sage has since evolved into council chambers, the nature of the form and duties of its members remain largely unchanged. Am I boring you, Raha? You seem awfully distracted. My apologies. From here, one can see the entire city spread out below. The Vista put me in mind on my arrival in the first. Those who had gathered at the Crystal Tower asked me how they might go about building a new home. Sorry, hang on.
the mist put me in mind of my arrival in first. Those that gather at the Crystal Tower asked me how they might go about. Uh, oh. My answers are all inspired by my knowledge of the finest settlement I can think of, the Great City Charlie. And you know what? It does look like a. It does look like the Crystarium. By and bit by bit, those few buildings grew into a town, a community, the Crystarium. I can almost see its echo. I see. Feel free to come up here whenever you wish. I don't think the counselors would object to you simply enjoying the view. Such memories should be treasured. For now, however, the tour must go on. Our spectacle of sightseeing concludes with the fittingly named Journey's End. Walk down the stairs to the east and continue straight ahead. Down this way? Okay, let's, um, oh god, in front of their, in front of their house? Um, you know what else it reminds me of? It reminds me of, um, Scala at Kylum. That's also, <laughs> that's also a good comparison, actually. Literally the white and the gold. Say what you will about uh, the current state of Kingdom Hearts storytelling, but boy, that game is aesthetically pleasing. You know, and I'm... Wow, this is their house? Y'all, you live like this? Y'all, you live like this? Holy shit, look at them. God damn. Got a balcony? I've always wanted a balcony. Let's attune to that last one since this is technically the last one they said. God, the music. It's so good. I could just sit here. I was like, I thought I really liked the the uh, the the music in the Crystarium, but more places should just have background music. Imagine just walking around. There's a place um, that's like a few towns over that like uh, a few towns over. It's it's about a half hour away from where I live that I like to go to. There's just a little plaza and they have uh, speakers going on everywhere and they just play like you know they just play like, like whatever like music that they would play in like a department store and whatnot. But still, it's cool. Remind that's the closest we can get. But, they, but each place should have its own theme song, I think. That'd be very good. We've arrived at Journey's End. History tells us that this was where those who put ashore with Archon and Yungkrif built their first homes. In the present day, it serves as the residential district of the most important officials and the oldest Charlian families. You'll see that one mansion is clearly larger than its neighbors. That estate belongs to our friends from House Levier. All things considered, we should probably keep our distance for the time being. Let's go egg their house, man. And with that, we bring our little Charlene tour to a close. I hope it has proven to be an entertaining and enlightening experience. Now, shall we head directly to the uh, Baldician Annex? You remember the way, don't you, Raha? Let me think. We head down towards the harbor, across the bridge, blah blah blah. Okay. Did I miss an etherite? Oh, I sure did. All the way out there. Since we had seen to all these etherites already. As a joyous look on Raha's face has undoubtedly informed you, this is the Baldician Annex. If you continue up the hill, you'll arrive on the doorstep of Phenomenon, but I think we've explored enough for one day. We can take you there another time. Inside with you, then. I like that she calls him Raha and not Graha. I think she does the same thing with Yeshtola. I'm back, and I brought Sora and Raha with me. Ah, you are right about the ship then. Hello, Graha. It's nice to see you again. And it's a pleasure to finally meet you, Sora. I've heard many a tale of your exploits. Hojika Tsunjika, it has been an age. 
allow me to introduce Ojika Sunjika, administration officer for the students of Valdesian. He oversees the day-to-day -day business of the Annex. You may recall meeting his cousin, Ejika? Uh, back in Kugane? Oh yes, Eureka. I've read the initial report. Yes, I've read the initial reports. Quite a shock to hear what's become of the Isle. Do take care if you have the opportunity to rejoin the expedition. This place is like a second home for the students. The Isle of Val served as our main headquarters, of course, but we could often have occasion to visit Charlian. Whether to make use of the city's research facilities, attend conferences, or procure supplies from distant shores, and the annex here was built to provide lodgings for our members while we engage in such activities. Ever since our former headquarters along the isle itself vanished, the annex has served as our base of operations. And yet, it feels so empty with... Uh, it feels so empty with so many lost to us. Our organization is a shell of its former self. They will come when we will see the students rise again. First, we must ensure that the Laferoi fail. Fall! Through that door on the left is the main hall where we can discuss our options moving forward. Once everyone arrives, that is. You probably have time to rest before our discussions begin in earnest. Look at them! Look at them! They're moving the cameras around. I don't think they've ever done that. <laughs> <laughs> I've played like almost 800 hours of this thing. I don't think they've ever moved the camera in the middle of a cutscene. I've had private quarters prepared for you in the Andron, so please feel free to make yourself at home. Ah, the nap room's perfect for an afternoon doze. Oh, I didn't mean to give you the wrong impression. The chambers are quite well appointed, far more so than some cheap roadside inn, you may be assured. Simply that we were often so busy with research or were exhausted from journeys abroad that we would slip into the Andron just to steal a few links, and thus they became known among the students as nap rooms, even if many such naps might last well into the following morning. Say the word and I'll be able to show you to your chamber. Hopefully the others won't be long in coming. I'll wait for you all in the main hall. I'm gonna see if I can attune to that last ether right before I go. Um... But I, I've, while I was, um, oh, I want to see what the nap room looks like. I want to see what the nap room looks like. Do you have papers pasted on the walls of your room? It's not unusual for occupants to pin up notes or documents and such, and they forget to take them on. They went on their weary way. Sometimes it was quite deliberate, though. You might see complaints addressed to other members or a thank you card for the engrossing literature, so, lit literature someone left behind. Uh, beloved traditions that I should know better than to dwell upon. If we were to create a future for the students of Valdesia and so many others, we must look to the days ahead. I'm gonna do that etherite real quick. I know that they must have their own reason for making it thus, but I really wish... I really wish that they would let us ride our mounts. Wow, this place. I love this little walk. Place in, there's a place in San Francisco called the Palace of Fine Arts um, that reminds me a lot of this place, especially at, um, especially during the day. Yay! I'm glad they just gave me a teleport to the front of this place. But what is that? Oh, it's for repairers, I guess. Okay. Let's keep going. Map of... I have that same map. Hydrate! Hi! Hello! How's it... How's it hanging? Gotcha, bro. Thanks for joining. That looks like something from Bravely Default. 
Oh, look at all this concept art. I love it. Is that, um, is that Eden right there? That's cool. That's cool. I love it. Oh, and here, look, there's this, uh, All Moogles something. I wish I could read that. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, feeling refreshed and alert. Our colleagues should be wandering in soon, so I suggest we stay here and wait for them to join us. I need to fix my little chat boxes now that I don't have the Novice Network. <laughs> Goodbye, Novice Network. I, I do miss having the cacophony of screaming in my lower left hand me. corner i was delayed it's fine Moriante. we're all here now let's get down to business then shall we to defeat the assassins come what may we must prevent the telophoroi's plans from coming to fruition at present i see two paths for gathering the information which may aid us in achieving that goal the first involves an investigation into the change which has come over Charlien, not to mention the recent inscrutable behavior of the Forum. As most of you know, the 99 members of the Forum are elected from the general populace. This alone guarantees a plethora of opinion with regards to foreign policy. The Bibliotheques, for example, are a group of conservatives which would have Charlien focus on recording history while remaining entirely uninvolved in the making of it. Hi, Sora. Hi, Juno. Glad you could make it. There's about 20 minutes left before the game turns off. <laughs> we have advocates for proactive diplomacy and direct intervention. My grandfather, Gallop, was one such member, as was Archon Luiswa. Welcome to Old Charlian. Thank you. This place is pretty. Yet despite our diverse factions and philosophies, the recent it is entirely my aesthetic. Um. Even more concerning was the fact that many cited other more pressing duties as justification for their recalcitrance. Wait, what? What do you mean? Oh, I said this is just my aesthetic. Old Charlian. I love, I love going to places like these. Oh, are you talking about the game turning off? Oh, there's maintenance at 7 o'clock. <laughs> there's maintenance. Uh, there's, it's, uh, it's, um, they're, they're fixing the housing. It sucks because I knew about it yesterday when I was like when I was finishing up Shadowbringers. I was like I was like perfect. I have the day off tomorrow, and then I turned the game on and said, "Oh, there's maintenance. Be careful." I said, "Oh yeah, I should probably should probably stream earlier," and then I did. Oh man, I know. I I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't worry though, it'll it'll come back on tomorrow. More and Walker tomorrow. Mysterious relics and ruins, arcane disturbances, and so forth. Hold on. Our second path, if con it concerns a request made directly. Our organization was founded primarily to study strange and unexplained phenomena in the world over. Okay. Compared to our more isolationist Charlie and colleagues, we have strong connections overseas, namely with scholars and academics who share our passion for the unknown. 
quest in question comes from one such acquaintance, Nadana, an alchemist residing in distant Flavnair. Rather hard. describes the sudden appearance of a tower and the subsequent summoning of what I can only assume is a Luna Prime. What does that say? You love Favnir. I can't wait to meet the new cast of characters they'll introduce. Is now a good time to bring up my what I thought my theory as to why Kryle was probably like secret because <laughs> I because I forgot you got you got new alpha I did I thought I showed you uh, it's basically Thancred's outfit but I put a cowboy hat on. I would I would play as my pirate, but he's currently at he's currently at level cap, so it'd be useless to finish out missions with him. And my gunbreaker is actually dangerously close to hitting level cap, also, so I'm gonna have to switch. I'm gonna have to switch to a different tank class. I passed through Thabnir on my way to infiltrate the Empire, and though I'm not qualified to give a guided tour, I did gain a sense of where things lie. I'll be happy to have you along then. So for this group, it will be you, me, and Uriage. Give me a moment afterwards, and I'll supply you with all the details of Nadana's request. Can I go with them? I want to see this Thabnir, please. Consider this all our I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna see it, am I? The game's gonna turn off halfway through this cutscene. Investigations prove fruitful. When's Ali say gonna get her new outfit? But yeah, I figured. I figured. Look, I, I'd switch from a pirate ninja to a cowboy gunman. There you go. Uh, an unsettling change has come over Charlie, but together we will divine the underlying cause for the form's callousness. As I mentioned before, however, questioning the counselors directly is a fruitless endeavor. They seem to have already come to a consensus as to what and how little they are willing to divulge. 
which is why I began scouring Charlene's archives of historical records for any hint of a connection to the final days. Suffice it to say that progress has been slow. There are only so many dusty wages one can skim in a day. Now that I have this band of willing reinforcements, the search should proceed all the swifter. Uh, I won't have time for the good stuff. I won't. I won't. Got 13 minutes. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go with these guys. <laughs> oh, look at that! I see it. That was my fault. I- I definitely should've- To be fair, like, I started my- I- I woke up, like, around the time that I wanted to stream. I woke up and my phone- My phone wouldn't turn on. Like, it had- it had- the battery on it had drained completely. It, it works now, but, like, it had drained completely over the night. When I plugged it in, it wouldn't work, so I, I had to restart it, and it kept getting stuck on the- the Samsung, uh, boot-up screen. And I was like, oh shit, and, like, I knew that I had to, like, reset it or reboot it or something like that. But it wasn't working, and it stayed like that for, like, an hour. I think it just completely ran out of battery, and I had to charge up. But it, it works now, and I by the time it by the time I got it working, I was like, well, I should probably like you know eat something and take a shower and whatnot. And so here we are. And I turned on the clock. I was like, holy shit, I forgot there's maintenance. So oh, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna travel. I can travel by etherite, but what if the rest of you? Another sea voyage would waste time we do not have. The Confluence. Afraid so, my friend. Hmm. Thou wilt recall the hunts for ice hearts unto, unto whose sanctuary. I'm sorry, her name is Isail. I will have no slander. Unto, unto whose sanctuary we delivered thee, owing to the knowledge of our comrade Moonbrita. Why would you bring up both in the same sentence? Moonbrita was an authority on etherology, a field, or, a field of study she did embark upon in pursuit of her parents' example. Both are authorities in their own right, and both are researchers at the confluence. Wait, what? I attempted to do so earlier, but to my shame, my courage failed me at the last. As it had them many times, I thought to reach out to them after sending that faithful letter. Neither time nor introspection revealed unto me the words I should speak, and thus have I kept my silence. Whether you come with us or no is your choice and yours alone. If it is too difficult, we'll manage. Thou art kind to say so, but I have no intention of forsaking my cause. I shall go to the confluence and shall face that which hath long been overdue. Uh, let's go. We're looking for Keat. Oh, thanks for the bits. Or, yeah, that's a bit, right? Thank you for the bits. That's a lot of bits, actually. Thank you, Juno. I don't have any, I don't have any bit rewards. I need to spend a day and just fix that. <laughs> um, the confluence, huh? Ooh, it's nighttime! <gasps> Ooh! Look at that. Should we cut it here? Or should we should we see if we can go to Favnir real quick? Will it actually let me? Please log out. <laughs> Are they bits? I decay was just there. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's bits, my man. Oh, look at that. They're building an etherite. Go to Thabnir. <laughs> oh, look, some music I actually recognize. Well, now. 
this is rather a lot of stern faces. Are my library books overdue again? I love her hair. Not to our knowledge. We're associates of crowd, the students of Valdesion. We seek passage as happened there and understand that you can assist us. I want that outfit. Ah, the test subjects. Welcome, welcome. I won't have time. Damn. Test subjects. Oh, then allow me to explain. In order to travel to an ether, you ordinarily need to be attuned to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out while you're a mess of ether hurting along the life stream. Is that what happens? I guess that's what happens. An inconvenient but incontrovertible limitation of ether teleportation. But what if I were to tell you that there's a way to travel to ether without being attuned to it? A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been. For long years, we've labored to make such travel possible that people might move around more freely. And we've finally done it. We created a new kind of etherite that doesn't require attunement. Oh. Well, my language may have been misleading. The user need not attune to these etherites, but the etherites themselves must have been pre-attuned to each other, thereby facilitating travel between the two points. But it just so happens that our first test pair of etherites, one has been installed here in Charlian, and the other over in Yedlimad, a port town in Thabner. As you may know, our nation has long maintained strong ties with Razat Han, and indeed we owe much of this breakthrough to the contributions of their alchemists. Okay. I should mention that an accident has spared my ability to channel ether. Will this be a problem? Uh, you might say these ethers were made for people like your good self. The magics imbued with it within will whisk you away without any effort on your part. I definitely won't have time. Uh, far be it for me to worry about such things, but we do have permission to make use of your shiny new invention. Yep. Sign this waiver. We actually- it may come as a surprise, but we may actually struggle to find test subjects. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of their souls gradually disintegrating as they drift helplessly into the life stream, in the statistically unlikely event that something goes awry. Uh, but it's plain you aren't most people. Okay. I hope- I hope it kicks me out as soon as I show up. Uh, resign their po oh. A large-scale project helmed by the forum itself, as I understand, but I'm not privy to the details. Oh. Let's see. Moonbleed's parents aren't even here. Let's get going before you change your minds! You can always save it for next stream. Yeah, I definitely won't have time. Um, cut it here. But next time, I'll definitely have time for it. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna end it here because because the world's gonna die. But um, just I think I, I think I was like I think I was like silenced when I was when I was talking about it. But I really love the way that. I really love the way that Shadowbringers ended. Um, I, I, from what I hear, um, from what I hear, Endwalker is really good also. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um, it picks up just as quickly as Shadowbringers does. And, it, and you know, I just, I love the, I love the changes they made to it already. So that's all I got. Um, anyway, if you miss any point of this stream. Um, it's going to be uploaded on YouTube, youtube.com slash Um Follow me here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Um And if you want to be notified of any future streams, I will be doing a stream tomorrow. Probably around this time, actually, because I, I don't get home until much later. It's probably around 6 or 7. Um, but, but follow me on Twitter to be notified when I do go live. Um, but uh, that's that's all I got. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks to everybody that stopped by. And uh, came to say hello. Anyway, <laughs> um, that's it. Um, uh, ne next time we'll we'll try to go for a much much longer stream, um, and 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 see what we got going on next. I am excited to see what happens after this. But, um, but yeah, that's all I got. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay safe, care, and peace out. Bye-bye.